Hey everyone, Janet Ink Paper Rubber. Well, I think we'll give this a go again. I uh, just wanted to show you the new Impression Obsession. We got it in late last week. Um, they had a new die release and I wanted to share that with you. So first thing we have are some stamps that we got back in stock. Here you can see this belated birthday stamp. We have a, the Deer Family, the cute little Story Mouse. We also have some great uh, Silhouette Cat stamps if you are a cat lover or maybe something for Halloween. Silhouette stamps are great for that. You do a nice background and stamp your silhouette on there and you are good to go. I also mentioned that there are new dies and I wanted to show those to you. The first thing we have is this small basket die. This is really cute. It makes like a little um, mini berry basket. Really cute for putting treats or something in. Love this monarch butterfly frame die. So pretty, so many things you could do with that. Also this daisy frame die and I might point out that this is extra useful because it actually cuts out the inside of the petals so you can you take those out and just use the outline or you can put those back in and you can see they have some really nice detail in them. And we also have some new little critter dies here. Uh, these are made up of multiple dies, so you can do some really fun paper piecing. We have the owl die, we have the lion, we have a deer, and here we have the raccoon. And let me just show you really quickly a few samples that I have of some of that. First of all, here is a sample with one of those cat stamps. You can see a really pretty ink blended background and then stamping that silhouette cat on there. There is that basket. You can see how cute that is with some little treats in it all decorated for Halloween and they've used the owl die up there at the top. Here is one idea for that monarch butterfly frame. Do your paper, that looks like it might be alcohol ink, and then die cut out of that. But here is another one where they have done a background and then just cut it out of black. That's always pretty. Looks like that might be a Distress Oxide background under there. There is that layered daisy and you can see that those petals were taken out and colored and then pieced back in. But here is another one where those petals weren't used at all. The, uh, the background was done and then die cut from the background and layered that over black. And here is another sample of that cute little owl. And here we have the lion, and look how cute these are with pattern paper, and there is the deer and the little raccoon. So you can see how much fun those are. All right, that is all that I have for you right now. I hope you have a great evening, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Goodbye.